Speaker recognizes Representative Young. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to speak to the entire package. So ordered. Criminal justice reform. Criminal justice reform. That's what repealing the 1931 abortion law, criminalizing law-abiding Michiganders means to me. It means justice, plain and simple, Madam Speaker. Justice for those who made the difficult, gut-wrenching decision to obtain an abortion. Every day, Madam Speaker, every single day that we come and we do our duty in these chambers, we recite these words while covering our hearts. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's what we say. But we can't have selective liberty because, see, people who look like me know what that looks like, selective liberty. We, we can't have selective justice, because once again, people who look like me, we've experienced what selective justice looks like. Liberty and justice must include everybody. That includes allowing women to make this difficult, gut-wrenching decision without government interference. You see, I ran for office to be a, represent, a representative not of the one, but of the people. I could have stayed at home and rested on my own religious morals. I could have did that and that would have been just fine. But, but I signed up to be a representative of the people. And on this issue, the people have spoken. On this issue, we know what the will of the people happens to be. There's, there's no guesswork. And so when I, when I look at this and I hear the debate and I, I just want to be clear that Nobody is forcing anybody to get an abortion. Nobody is forcing anybody to get an abortion. I happen to be one of those people that would not have gotten an abortion. We've heard my colleagues say, I got an abortion. We've heard my colleagues say, it was medically necessary. But I'm somebody by under no imagination was going to get an abortion had I been in that position. That's just the truth, colleagues. But what I will not do is allow my best friend who got raped, my best friend who at 16 got raped, who didn't know what to do, who didn't have understanding parents, to ultimately be criminalized for making the gut-wrenching, difficult decision to have an abortion. And so with that, I urge my colleagues to stand with the majority of voters in the state of Michigan and to support this legislation. Thank you, Madam Speaker.